So we have talked about Madison Cawthorn on this program before, and this is someone who I feel like is very obviously a sociopathic lawmaker. He is clueless. He's kind of just an ideologue, and he happened to win by chance. Having said that, though, he is in a position of power, and the things that he says, it actually has an impact on American society. So he's going to say something in this video that we're about to watch, and it is kind of a mask off moment. It's a moment where another GOP lawmaker says the quiet part out loud, but I genuinely am conflicted because I don't know if I'm more disturbed by the comment that he makes or more disturbed by the audience reaction who loves what he has to say. Take a look. Our culture today is trying to completely demasculate all of the young men in our culture. I mean, you, you can look at the testosterone levels in young men today and they are lower than throughout all of history. And there's a lot of reasons for this that we can get into later. But my friends, they're trying to demasculate the young men in this country because they don't want people who are going to stand up. And so I'm telling you, all of you moms here, the people who I said were the most vicious in our, uh, in our movement, if you are raising a young man, please raise them to be a monster. Raise. He's telling moms to raise your boys to be monsters, and they love that. I just, I, I don't understand people. I don't understand Republicans. I don't understand the way they think. I don't understand this logic. Why would you want to raise someone to knowingly be a monster? What kind of values would you instill in someone if you want them to be a monster? I, I just, this is disgusting. And again, I don't know if I'm more grossed out by his comments or the, the reaction from the audience. I mean, it's one thing if a GOP lawmaker says something horrible. But it's another thing if the audience doesn't think, mm, maybe rethink that. Maybe I don't agree with that. They just go along with everything. They clap like seals at every dumb thing a Republican lawmaker says. And that's that's an issue. Uh, he also says they're trying to demasculate young men in this country because they don't want people who are going to stand up. First of all, who's they? Second of all, what does stand up mean? I don't know what that means. Does that mean stand up and um, participate in capital insurrections does that mean um fucking be uh disrespectful towards women and and be uh toxic in your masculinity i genuinely don't know what he's saying it's incoherent but if you just throw in a bunch of buzzwords uh masculinity liberalism communism it doesn't matter what it is it could be as incoherent it could be as batshit fucking insane as you try to make it be Republicans will applaud and they will love it. They'll eat that shit up because they don't know what they want. They just know Democrats and liberals bad. And that's the totality of their politics. So by saying, oh, well, you know, they're trying to demasculate young men and they don't want people to stand up. They don't really know what he means, but they kind of fill in the blanks in their head. It's why Make America Great Again was such a great slogan because it's super vague. And that kind of a slogan allows someone to kind of extract whatever message that they want out of that slogan. And of course, what they take away from it is going to match their worldview. But Madison Cawthorn, when he says raise young men to be monsters, I don't think that he's bluffing. He actually wants young men to be monsters. And it's because he himself is a monster. This man is a predator. So as Addie Baird and Brianna Sachs of BuzzFeed News explain, BuzzFeed News spoke with more than three dozen people, including more than two dozen former students, their friends and their relatives who described or corroborated instances of sexual harassment and misconduct on campus in Cawthorn's car and at his house near campus. Four women told BuzzFeed News that Cawthorn, now a rising Republican star, was aggressive, misogynistic or predatory toward them. Their allegations include calling them derogatory names in public in front of their peers, including calling one woman slutty, asking them inappropriate questions about their sex lives, grabbing their thighs, forcing them to sit in his lap and kissing and touching them without their consent. One of these women now works as an intern for another Republican member of Congress and passes Cawthorn in the corridors of the Capitol. According to more than a dozen people, including three women who had firsthand experience and seven people who heard about these incidents from them at the time, Cawthorn often used his car as a way to entrap and harass women classmates, taking them on what he could call fun drives off campus. Two said he would drive recklessly and ask them about their virginity and sexual experiences while they were locked in the moving vehicle. I mean, this man was a monster. He still is a monster. And this isn't just something that was this little secret 
among his college classmates. There were three RAs that confirmed that women were warned to avoid him because he was a predator. He might prey on them. He might take them into his car, drive around recklessly, and when they have nowhere to escape, ask him, ask them all of these questions about their sexuality. It's truly manipulative, it's gross, it's predatory, and dare I say, it's monstrous. So Madison Cawthorn is a fucking monster. Not just a monster in his personal life, but a monster politically as well. He's promoted lies about the 2020 election being stolen. As a lawmaker, he's explicitly homophobic and transphobic. In fact, trans activist Claire Clark actually confronted him recently at a Republican Party fundraiser. And I'll link you to the video on Lauren Steiner's channel if you want to watch that. I'd highly recommend it. But the point is, this man is a fucking monster. And now it's up to Republican Party voters. Are they going to support these politicians as they continue to go mask off? I mean, Donald Trump was very overt in his racism and xenophobia and misogyny. And now you have folks like Madison Cawthor just saying, yeah, uh, I think that women should raise young boys to be monsters. So if you still support politicians like this when they tell you who they are, maybe you deserve to suffer from the policies that they pass or don't pass. The policies that are demonstrably harmful to the working class. I mean, if you support them, if you're stupid enough to vote for someone like Madison Cawthorn, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, you have the information. He's not hiding it. He's telling you very clearly he supports monsters and he wants women to raise monsters. So if you're going to cheer for this, then don't complain about Congress being broken because you're part of the problem if you're electing imbeciles and monsters like Madison Cawthorn. This man should not be anywhere near a Congress. He's not qualified to work at any job, let alone be a lawmaker in a position of power. So Madison Cawthorn is absolute garbage. He's a shit person. He's a monster. And this person should not be serving in Congress. But I feel like that's obvious if you're a reasonable person with a shred of common sense and common decency.